Hello, this is the CRT man here, and today I have my mini Lego computer. Uh, I'm here with some more Lego computer updates, and these updates consist of uh, August 22nd to uh, today, which is September 26, 2012. And sorry, I haven't made a Lego video in a pretty long time uh, for two reasons. One, I was at my dad's house for the summer, and two. Also, I haven't been able to borrow my friend's iPod Touch for a while, but uh, now I can. And you might have noticed some uh, dramatically different changes. First of all, there's two uh, uh, about three-inch floppy drives. These I was actually mistaking on the part where I said that the bigger floppy drive was almost three inches. This is actually about three inches. I measured it one day. So yeah, I added a dual floppy drive. Uh, I also added uh, an actual cord, and I actually got this idea from, uh, some person who made this video called Awesome Lego Computer. I forgot the name of his account, but he has some awesome Lego videos, so I'll put his account in the, uh, in the description, so definitely subscribe to him. And, I remember as I said the hard drive was internal, well now it's external. So, uh, cause I added a, like a full case to cover it. So yeah, it's not it's not internal anymore, and the monitor has some changes. I uh, made the bottom control panel a little bit different, so it won't actually be connected to the tube, so you could actually pop the tube out nice and easy. And I also added two speakers, little function things there. And sadly, yes, with all these renovations, I had to destroy the. Uh, the giant, the big floppy drive, and the cartridge port, but I didn't really like them too much anymore anyway. So, over here in the back, uh, got this unofficial NES power supply, which surprisingly fits in that hole quite nicely. There's a plug-in for the hard drive, which goes to that port. There's um, that port that goes to the video port. And since it, this is going to be a little bit hard because I'm using one hand, but um, let me actually... I just unplug that. Uh, everything's falling apart. I wanted to show some some of the inside uh, kind of differences for the monitor, maybe, and maybe something else too. So of course, still open it up like that, and oops, like that. And uh, the way you actually take it out is uh, you have to actually. It's really easy with two hands, but with one hand, it's a pain. You just, ah, it's starting to break. You press down on the video amplifying board and actually pull the case up. But now I just destroyed it, and if I did that in real life, all the air would be released. But it's really easy to take off the case now, but just with two hands. So I may look like an idiot spaz, but let me see if I could... There. Yeah. The whole thing basically just fell apart, but it normally doesn't do that. So, uh, yeah, that's actually how you take out the tube, with, just with two hands, because if one hand, uh, it would be a disaster. So there. And, uh, yeah, there's the tube. That goes in the case nicely. Put that aside. Also added a wired mouse. Port there. You can take that out. And, um, I'm just basically taking this thing apart. Here's the hard drive. A little hole there for you to slip something or your finger in there. Take that open. Oh my god, it just fell apart. Yeah, I gotta work on some designing stuff because sometimes stuff like this happens and it's a little bit embarrassing on camera. Uh, I made some internal differences or changes or whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's see here. This uh, accolator arm still moves, just easier with one hand. Uh, that area has definitely changed. Uh, this, this, uh, actuator arm doesn't have that little piece there, so it's nice and easy to actually go across the, uh, the platter. And, of course, still have the spindle, and the platter's the same. And, uh, ooh, and now I'm just breaking everything. <laughs> and, over here, take off the pieces for the case. Don't worry, I'll rebuild this. And I'll show you the second floppy drive. I added one on top, and you can't see this, but at the bottom is another one. Uh, yeah, a dual floppy drive. So, 
I did this in the past, but it was kind of a faulty design because it was one lever and it would eject both of them at the same time. But you could still put floppies in just with two hands and it's pretty interesting. But I can't do it right now because I'm lame with one hand. I'll just do that. And maybe I could take my foot, really dirty sock over there, and hold that down. There. See? Two floppies. And you can still take both of them out. Nice and simple. Yikes. So, yeah, I've done a lot of innovations on this, and I hope you guys like my creations and my videos. Some more coming soon. Be sure to subscribe, and thanks for watching.